we were able to finish the season nine and two. Obviously, we didn't accomplish our goal when we wanted to win the championship. But I'm very proud of these guys uh, for us to finish on this note, 55 to 14 in the house, uh, to send the seniors out the right way. And I mean, it was a lot of records that were broken today. And I'm so proud of the guys. You know, um, a a o a Olivio broke a couple records. Of course, Davies broke a couple records. And uh, it was just a, it was a great night. Did this feel like, I know it's not the celebration bowl you're going to, but this kind of felt like a celebration in its own way. Did you feel that too? Yeah, not quite a celebration bowl. But <laughs> yeah, it, it was good to see these guys be able to accomplish their goals. Uh, we had their families here and had a big program for their, for their families. So it was, it was been a real emotional last probably 48 hours. But for their families to be able to come and, and be able to see their, their uh, young men have this type of success over the last four years and finish off like this. Now you got the waiting game, Coach. I mean, a chance to, to make the playoffs. I mean, your thoughts on, on how it's going to transpire. Is this a team worthy of being in the playoffs, obviously? Right? I think we've proven that, yes. Uh, we still got, I mean, I would like to see us improve this week and practice and with our preparation. But, you know, we lost two games this year, and one was the UCLA. So um, I think that we're definitely a playoff worthy team. Do you feel confident you did to, you'll get a bid? I don't know why we wouldn't get a bid. I mean, what else you have to do? We lost one conference game, won one FCS game. You look at our body of work out of conference, our non-conference schedule, and look what those people have done. I mean, I, I think our work speaks for itself. Were you guys scoreboard watching at all during, before, after the game with Howard? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Uh, uh, Kyle told me that we weren't going to talk about that or look at anything, and I didn't want to know until we got in the locker room. So, uh, unfortunately, um, uh, Morgan didn't pull it out against Howard, so we didn't uh, we didn't win the conference championship. But you know we got some more ball to play. All those seniors that, that came out today, Davius and the rest of them, what do those guys mean to you after all these years? Those guys are champions. And that was my first recruiting class, 2019. And you know we struggled in 19, and then it was partly cloudy with a chance to rain. <laughs> but uh, those guys stuck with it. And we talk about culture over scheme here, and they bought into the culture. And uh, they helped set the foundation. And these young guys, you know, follow behind them. And uh, it's a blessing to have those guys in the program. And, and I saw up there last night and I had the seniors come in front of the room. We had some dudes up there, man. You look at our senior class, we got some great players. Don't you talk about the body of work of this team and you just talked about the body of players that you guys have and the seniors that you came in with in your recruiting class. Just what does that team mean to you and what does it mean for you to put up 55 points tonight on senior night? We talk about getting better every week, getting better every year. And I think we've shown that since 2019, as a program, we have improved our program here at North Carolina Central. So, uh, it's, it's, again, it's, it's an honor to coach these guys. Um, you know, they, I've made them better. They made me better. And as long as you surround yourself with good people, you have a chance to do something great. And that's what we have a chance to do. And last two years, we lost four games. You're 9-2 on the season, Coach. Just what is the identity of this team that you can describe? We're great. We're a great football team. These guys are tenacious, and we, it was a lot of things we talk about, but, uh, you know, they're, they're good people. Aside from anything else, man, these, these guys are good people uh, on and off the field, in the classroom. Um, they just excel, and they're going to be in corporate America or the NFL or whatever, but they're going to be successful. Coach, you talked about breaking records. Um, I know you guys decided to kick on third down. What was the decision to kick it on third down? Why was that the right moment to, to kick it for Adrian? Adrian needed two points to break the record, and if we scored a touchdown, we were only going to be able to get him one point. So I didn't want to pop it, and then, you know, we score a touchdown and only get one. And I knew, you know, right then, let's go ahead and kick the field goal on third down. I know the coach is looking a little perplexed over there. What are we doing? But it was a trick play. I was trying to make sure he, he secured the record. What can you say about just the numbers Davius has put up in his career here? Well, you know, guys, the NCAA said he's got two more years left for eligibility, so he'll be back for two more years. Nah, I'm joking. 19 for 21, and we had over, what, 660-some yards. Uh, I think like the fifth best, best offensive output in school history. He's a dude. He's a, he's a, he's a grown man. But uh, I can't say enough about him. I've said it every week, week in and week out a thousand times. I don't know how else I can say it. He's an unbelievable player, an unbelievable person. With all the records broken tonight, which one means the most to you? There's so many that were broken, I don't even know. But I do know my guy Brandon Gilbert was here. Uh, and and that's we got a very, very close relationship. I coached him. Uh, here back in 2005 and 2006. And he was here and has been cheering Adrian on um, since Adrian's been here. So it was good for, uh, for Brandon Gilbert to be here and embrace uh, Adrian after he, he broke the record.